Hello guys, welcome to 3ds Max news. These are the news around 3ds Max for the month of August. Let's start with plugins and new releases. We get Umbrella 4 has been released. It's a plugin for 3ds Max that allows you to automate UV unwrapping. As a new feature, includes a new UV packing engine, a UV projection mode, updated UI, plus a lot of fixes and improvements. It's an excellent plugin if you are doing a lot of ungrab uh, on your day-to-day. Render Stack is a popular solution for 3ds Max to automate and manage your scene prior to be rendered. And it's one year old already. We presented this product one year ago, and yeah, the time flies. To celebrate it, they have an interview with Andy Lewis that was his first beta tester. And in top, you have a 25 discount using a code that you can see on the website. Redshift did a minor update adding a revamped UI for all UI in all the platforms that they have available Redshift, including 3ds Max. The new UI attempts to be way simpler and easier to use than never before. Ragdoll Dynamics is a new plugin for Maya right now that is designed to work faster and with more realism for any character animation out there, giving access to easy directable real-time physics. As you can see on the examples, allows to add secondary motion in a few steps. And if you ask why I'm having a Maya news in a 3ds Max new video, it has a reason. It's because in the comments on CG Press, the creator of the plugin said that the 3ds Max version will come soon. I contact them, and indeed they are working in a 3ds Max version. There is still early to show anything, but they are working on it, and and for sure I will cover the news when this plugin is out there. NAG All Pro is a plugin to automate the organization of digital assets into libraries in a single click. In this new version, the UI has been improved, as well performance and multi-threaded evaluation to be faster than ever, and major changes and enhancements in files processing. A new license costs 99 euros. Existing users can upgrade it for 19 euros. If you have a lot of objects that needs to be categorized and you need to create previews for them, uh, this will save you a ton, a ton of time. You sim simply can grab a lot of objects and this plugin will bath processing all of them, creating and managing them in a very easy way as you can see on the videos. Remember all the links that I am talking here are on the description below. Bifold Door Generation allows you to create multiple types of doors or windows in a total procedural way, and they are also animatable. It's compatible with 3ds Max 2018 and higher, with V-Ray and Corona. It costs $30. Image Vectorize is a new 3ds Max script to trace vectors from image. It can create outline traces or create center lines. It costs $33, and you have a lot of options in one single place. A new USD scene from Animal Logic is available for free. It aims to replicate real world production and pipeline concepts. Remember that you can download the USD plugin for 3ds Max 2022 as public beta from your Autodesk desktop app. There are still missing parts, but if you want to try to import different USDs, uh, like these ones, it's a perfect solution to try to explore and understand how works USD. And if you have any problem or you found any bug, you can report it to Autodesk. Let's start with training material. Shirsat Barhami created a very complete tutorial series in YouTube in how to create a rig for a game engine using 3ds Max. So far, 7 parts are available for free. Mats Rogeler creates every Friday a live session in YouTube talking around Arnold and OSL in 3ds Max. You can watch him do cool stuff in the viewport, unbelievable things as you can see using OSL. And also you can ask any questions you could have about Arnold or OSL, every Friday, live on YouTube. Corona 7 was launched last month and in August the guys from Corona did a complete webinar of over one hour covering some of the new features as well as some tips and tricks for illuminating and using Corona that are great and this video is on YouTube. If you are Looking for something in a white format, Matthias de Belter published a complete PDF with over 350 pages with detailed steps in how to model a robot in 3ds Max, and it cost $10. And talking about robots, let's start our section, 3ds Max is only for RHB. Recently, Xiaomi presented his CyberDog, now cyber, cyber dogs are a thing, and the studio Milark created very cool images and videos with complete rig and animation done by 
you guessed it, 3ds Max. You can see that there are some uh, screen captures on how the rigging is working in 3ds Max and yeah, awesome animations. From a studio to an indie short film, Leonard Smith created together with Maite Lokering this amazing short film involving destruction, water, fire and some monsters. This was done for the final project for his bachelor degree. All water is done in Houdini and all the ship RBD destruction has been done with 3D Max and Thinking Particles and he used as well tie flow for the ropes and the sails and for the underwater dirt. Rendered with V-Ray for the 3D Max part and Mantra for the Houdini effects. Make create an awesome and very fun piece using Typhlo for it, and obviously Tyson, the creator itself, is behind this great animation. On Typhlo Group in Facebook, he shared as well a small breakdown of the process that he used to create this device. So you can see quite well the process that it's not always aiming for the final, um, how he's fixing different problems that he can find on the way, and you can learn a lot from these small breakdowns. Cool stuff. And we didn't cover much Typhlo during the latest news, but Tyson is still in providing constant updates. During August we get two new updates, and while he's preparing for the final release we can see less new features, but it's focusing a lot in adding stability, bug fixes and quality improvements to the already existing features. You can check the changelog on the Typhlo webpage that the links are below. There is a new 3D challenge organized by Red Vertex and everyone can participate. It's titled We Are All Mad Here and it's about interpreting a plot, event or character from Alice in Wonderland. There are very important prices like 2500 euros plus one year of B-Roy license plus permanent license for all Affinity Suite for the first place, but there are, there are prices for a lot of different people. And on top of that, if you use any Autodesk product, 3ds Max or Maya, you get an additional 2,500 euros provided by Autodesk for the first place, giving up to $6,000 extra in prices. D2 conference are running right now. I hope that before I update the video, there will be still some talks that you can uh, check out. These online talks are focused around Archbeath and Autodesk is promoting some talks like Smathia Difaui or Shrovkop. I am sorry, I never know how to pronounce his name, but it's also known as Shop, and I think this is easier to pronounce, that I will not miss this one. Um, always great con content by, by Shop. The next conference that you cannot miss, it's next month we have the 24 Hours of Chaos, an event to talk about 3D, VFX, ArcVis, animation, gaming, and much more. It's a non-stop event for 24 hours, with 12 shows that will be covered by professionals and studios from all around the world. The event is presented by Chaos Group, Cine Software and Autodesk and will be online free for everyone from September 9 to September 10. You can check the website to see all shows and more than 60 guests and hosts that will be presenting. Remember as always, I have all the links on the video descriptions. Autodesk University will not happen until October, but you can already register. This year will be online and it's totally free. And as well, if you would like to present something for 3ds Max or any Autodesk product, you can, uh, right now, I think that there is still another week or two weeks, you can present any talk that you would like to do. And if it's selected, you will be able to present during the Autodesk University. That is always a great opportunity. And I think I will be doing some stuff, I will let you know, but yeah, uh, I will do some stuff for, for, for that. And this is all what we have for August. I think that not bad considering that August normally is a very slow uh, month because everyone is in holidays, but people will start coming back from holidays and we will get even more news uh, in September. Thank you a lot, everyone that listened to all this until the end. Uh, if you like it, please, if you give a thumbs up, it helps me a lot. Give a comment. I love comments. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And thanks a lot to all my patrons that make these videos possible. Thank you a ton, guys. And yeah, see you soon. Bye.